Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're creating these amazing 3D animations and isometric animations in Figma. I was able to create this nice little 3D carousel that I can move around, add new images, etc. And apart from this, I've created this really cool looking 3D cube with these animations inside that. So if I hover over one of these, it will change the animation. And of course, I can play around with the cube as well. Now the cool thing is, if you learn these tricks, all the other 3D animations will become accessible and easy to you. So without further ado, let's get started. So for the first animation, which is this nice 3D carousel, which is moving from the bottom automatically, to create something like this, we will have to begin with an artboard, of course. Make sure the width is 1440 because that is what the width we're going for and the height you can set to whatever you like. We will set a title here just to give some context of the space. In this case, it could be anything. It could be India, it could be New York, it could be anything. And I'm going to place this right in the center. You can place other navigation and button elements, but for now I'm going to leave it as simple as this. Now we have to create the 3D carousel. We'll have to create it outside of this frame here. We will build another frame, which could be either the same height or not. It totally depends on you, but I'm leaving it at the same height, but much wider than this, so like a panoramic view like this. Now in this case, I will first make sort of a grid. So I'll make this one little rectangle here on the left, and I'm going to duplicate it by holding option and just moving it across. And the distance can be anything. For this, I'm going to set the distance to an even 42. And to keep on duplicating this to save time, click Command D or Control D and it will automatically paste the next element. I'm just going to resize these to kind of make sure that they're in the center. And I'm going to drag it and create, say, another row right here. Select all of these and give them a proper border radius. In this case, it should be 24 pixels. You can Again, it's your design choice, it's your design. Now you guys already know my favorite is Unsplash for images. So let's quickly get images for India since we are taking for India. Now once you've downloaded the images, you can apply multiple images at the same time. Here's a quick trick for that. Press Command Shift K on your keyboard in Figma. You just have to select the images while holding Shift it could be four, five, whatever number of images you like. Once I'm happy with the image selection, I just click on open and, immedi and immediately I'll have this nice little cursor here. I can then click on each one of these rectangles and it will slowly apply various images for me. Now there are a lot of isometric plugins which shorten the process. Now we need to lay this, now we need to lay this flat on a surface at the bottom. So for this, I will go to resources on top, which is this little icon here. I'll click on this and I will search for something called isometric. In this case, the one that we're looking for is ease isometric. While I have frame eight select, I will click on this bottom cube right here. So each cube represents a side of the cube. Click on the bottom. And as you can see, immediately I've gotten a bottom placed isometric look. Now, while this plugin is open, I will drag the frame eight to this website frame here. And I'll make sure this is at the back of everything else. Any weird movement will ruin this event. So make sure you first place it at one edge like this. So the bottom right edge is fine. And from this Ease Isometric plugin, there are these arrows at the bottom here. Each arrow represents a direction. So if I want to take these images to the top left, I'll click on this direction arrow. And as you can see, it takes it to the top left. This is exactly what we have to do for the animation. Duplicate it by clicking Command D or Control D on my keyboard. And the second frame, I'll click this isometric layout and I'll click this arrow once again to keep on bringing this. You might have to click it 10, 20 times, that's okay. But at least it'll come to the other edge. For the prototyping or animation, it's just one click. I click on frame seven. I then click on prototype on the top right, right here. And I just drag this little circle on the right side of this frame to the next frame. Instead of saying on click, we'll select after delay. Now we want to reduce the after delay to one millisecond or just type in zero, it'll convert it to one millisecond. And within one millisecond, which is barely visible, it will move from this frame to the other frame. For a better animation, you should also activate linear instead of ease and out. 
and of course we want a longer animation so we can always set something like 10000 milliseconds okay so that's about it if i want this animation to keep on looping or keep on continuing i'll just click on the second frame and bring the arrow back and of course make sure it's not click it's after delay and this will ensure that we have a seamless animation as you can see here if i open this little preview window it continuously sweeps from one side to the other now with a slightly different technique the second one was created which is the 3d carousel i click on any one of these arrows it brings me to one of these images or one of these frames all right so for continuity sake i am going to use india once again another similar frame to create a 3d carousel i'll create a basic rectangle here just nothing just click on r and you'll have a rectangle and then inside this i will place my images so inside fill on the right i can click on the fill color and on the top left i have this little image icon i'll click on it and this will make it an image layer now i can individually select whichever image i wanted and as you can see this is golden temple which is a fantastic place to give it more depth 3d depth i will create a background shadow So I'll just create another rectangle which is slightly smaller than this frame right here and I'll place it behind the image. Now once I have it behind the image I will just pick one of the prominent colors that we have here in the image and that will be our shadow. I will go to effects on the on the right here and under layer blur I will set it to 50 or 60 or even more if you want. Now once I have the shadow as you can see there is some depth to it I'll drag out and select both the shadow as well as the image group it by saying command G or control G on my keyboard hold K and just drag in to resize it slightly and this is perfect for the next two slides I'll just duplicate these this image place it right next to each other like this now we want buttons to kind of make the carousel move from left to right So for that I will just place a simple arrow. Now I have one arrow I'll just duplicate this and rotate it to make the other arrow which is fine. Now we have two arrows I'm going to group these together and place them right in the center. So if I click on right it'll shift to right and vice versa. I will click on the right image and for this one I have a new plugin called Skew 360. If I click on skew 360 I can give it any vertical or horizontal isometric view so this will give you a slight 3d view like this so for this image on the right I want it to bend towards the back so this will be minus 35 or minus 38 degrees and for the left one I want it plus so it will be plus 35 or 36 degrees you might have to adjust these two images they might fold and just go somewhere else but that is fine now as you can see this is a nice little 3d carousel effect right here now i'll duplicate this frame itself and i'll just show you one animation and you can duplicate it for all the other elements as well so for this animation i'll might make the right image appear in the center so first of all i will shift the leftmost image out of the frame i can just hold shift and use my arrow keys to bring him absolutely towards the left now for this middle one i want to give it the same bend as the left image so here i'm going to say plus 35 degrees and once again just place it towards the center like this perfect and of course reducing the opacity gives a slight more depth effect for this image i'm just going to bring it to the center and to And the cool thing about this plugin is if I click on this delete icon it will delete this 3D view right here. And then I'm going to place this image in the center and adjust my carousel like this. And the center image will now have 100% opacity as well. So now we have a nice little depth effect that switches from one carousel to the other, from one carousel image to the other. So for the animation I'm going to remove the plugin for now. For the animation this right arrow I will click on then go to prototype once again and drag out this circle to the next frame right here now here on click is completely fine that's what we want and instead of linear we can give it something like gentle quick slow or a spring even to give it a slight nice springy bouncy animation and the and the animation duration can be anything i'm going to set it to a generous 800 milliseconds for now 
And the same thing you can do with all the other images and the other arrow as well. If I click on the right arrow, nice little bouncy 3D animation. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. You can do the same for all the other images as well and tweak the angle of distribution just to give it a better depth effect. Okay, now this last one made me super excited. I never knew we could do something like this. This 3D cube has animations on all three edges or sides, whatever you want to call it. And here, if I hover over this, not only it floats in the air, but also it changes this nice little animation on the sides which is absolutely amazing. It looks awesome and you can use it in various places. Cube is actually really simple to make. In fact, it's just one click. If I go to resources again, I'll bring up Ease Isometric again. Remember the first plugin? Inside this Ease Isometric, I have this little cube here. If I click on this cube, voila, it pastes a customizable cube here. Once we have a cube, I can click on K on the keyboard and just resize it for, for keepsake. Inside this cube, we will have three GIFs. Yes, in case you've forgotten, Figma can import GIFs. In this video, we're going to use Jiffy, the web, GIF website. If you have any other website in mind, you can use that as well. We're going to type in India. That is the theme going on. I found this infinite looping holy GIF right here. Not that holy, but the Indian holy GIF. Right click on this and you get the save image as option. Just save it to your desktop. Strippy Taj Mahal GIF here. I'm just gonna save this also. So we need two GIFs for one side of the cube. Let's try the top portion. You can do the right and left portion on your own once you know the top portion. So for this top portion, I'm gonna select the top portion. Click on fill and I'm gonna select image. Inside image, I'm gonna choose the GIF. Now first we'll just import the holy GIF which is really cool. We'll duplicate the frame and as you can see the cube is duplicated as well. I'll click on this little image on top and again from here I can choose the another GIF. In this case of course it's gonna be the Ta Trippi Taj Mahal GIF essentially. The second frame I can even move the cube slightly on towards the top and even give this cube a slight shadow at the bottom. Just create a simple circle. And under effects, just use layer blur, just like we used for the previous example. As you can see, we have nice little layer blur here as well. In the previous frame, just paste this shadow and reduce the opacity to something like 20 or 10 and it will appear. To animate this, I'll just click on the top frame, which is the top cube frame here. Click on prototype and the same exact thing we're going to do. We're going to drag this circle to the second frame. Instead of on click, we have to say while hovering which is perfect. And the transition should be smoother, so 300 milliseconds is more than enough. And linear or ease in out works best for this game. As you can see, this hover works very well. But is the GIF working? Yep. As you can see, there is the holy GIF. If I hover over the top, there we have the Taj Mahal GIF. You can do the same for both these sides and as you saw in the first example, it works perfectly. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, share this on all the platforms and communities. Also hit the like button. It'll help this video grow and help the channel grow as well. I will see you next time. Same, I'll see you every week just like this. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care, God bless.